coming on today. So first of all, I'm going to let everybody introduce yourself. So I'm going to let Davindra introduce himself first because he's going to be doing the presentation last. So Davindra, this is your first webinar that you personally have done with us, although your GM Rochelle has um, done a few others for us. So tell us who you are, where you're from and your prize today, please. Perfect. So very good morning, afternoon and good evening to everyone. Thank you everyone for joining in. So uh, my name is Devinder De Silva. I am the sales and marketing manager at Ifru Island Resort, which is a small five-star, which is a, a five-star property located in the Ra Atoll. So today in the presentation, we will show you a very magical experience that you will probably have not found in the Maldives before. So please do stay tuned and it will definitely be one to remember. Super, thank you. And your prize today is your two night stay at Ifuru Resort. Um, and normally we shall include the transfers from Mali um, across to the, the island as well. So um, we will hear more from Davindra soon. I'm now going to hand over to Jade to introduce herself and to start with the presentation just before she does. Any questions you've got, don't forget to pop them into the Q&A and make sure to make a note of whether it's for Davindra or for Jade. Jade, the stage is yours. Go. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Jade and I look after flyer hotels and resorts in the UK and Ireland. So we're going to be talking to you today just about a few of the brands that belong to the flyer family. And then we're going to go into a bit more detail um, on one of our properties in Jamaica as well to inspire you a little bit for the Caribbean. Our prize today that we're giving away is £50, $60 or 50 euros I should have said that the other way around um so depending on where you are obviously that will be paid um for the for the correct currency so make sure you pay attention we will be asking a question at the end so let's kick this off then let me share my screen Okay, wonderful. So we're going to just learn a little bit and spend a bit of time understanding some of these all-inclusive brands that live under the Playa family. So some of you may recognise some of these, um, but the most important thing to remember is that these are unique brands um, to Playa hotels and resorts, and every single one of them is all-inclusive. So every property, um, resort and hotel that we offer, all of them are all-inclusive, but they're not all the same, and that is where these brands break that down. Um, so we've got the really high-end five star resorts in the collection we have four and a half star resorts we've got premium four star options and then really affordable budget friendly four star options for the caribbean as well so our tagline um we usually say that we have something for every traveler and every budget um within the brands that we have as part of the plier resorts family so most importantly, so this is going to be for UK agents, um, obviously because that's that's who I look after, but this is where you can book us. Um, so the typical suspects that you would expect to see, I mean, gold medal JTA um, to be all preferred partners that are connected to us. So they're getting direct um, availability and any offers that come out is going to hit them first. So just take a look on screen and, and, and familiarise yourself with where you can find our products. Um, for those agents that are listening in and elsewhere, um, we will put the contact details in for your um, sales teams for you to contact and they will be able to share this information with you. So we're located in three wonderful destinations, Mexico, Jamaica and the Dominican Republic. Um, and we're right in the main areas of these places. So in the Dominican Republic, our hotels are in the Punta Cana area with one hotel um, just down in the south, uh, which is La Romana. In Mexico, we're covered pretty much in Cancun. We've got two hotels in Playa del Carmen, and we also are offering properties in Los Cabos. And in Jamaica, we're mostly in Montego Bay um, with one option in the Ocho Rios area. So in our three destinations, we're in the hotspot areas of where you, your clients would more than likely want to stay in these destinations. So firstly, why Playa? Um, there's a lot of all-inclusive competition in all three of our destinations. Um, we've got a lot of competitors. So what is it that really makes us stand out? Um, as part of our all-inclusive, we really do offer unlimited dining um, and drinking in, in all of our resorts and restaurants. So you can eat and drink what you would like in our restaurants um, without there being any extra charges and things like that. So unlimited gourmet a la carte dining, um, really important. One buffet restaurant with a minimum of at least four high-end a la carte, and you do not need to pre-book any of them either. 
So we try to take that stress away of clients trying to decide where they want to dine two weeks before they arrive to the hotel. They don't need to do that. Um, we've got enough restaurants um, for the guests that are going to be in the hotel, so we don't need to, to worry about dining reservations. It also means that you can be really flexible with dining. And I love to use this example in my training. Um, I was at one of our hotels last year and I actually went into one restaurant, had a starter, walked right next door, had a main and finished off with ice cream in the Asian restaurant for dessert. So you can be really flexible without those dining um, reservation limitations um, and open dining like that. It particularly works very well for families. In all of the fine dining restaurants, there will always be a separate menu for children as well. Endless strength, including top shelf spirits. So even in our four star results, you're still getting some of those premium liquors as part of the all inclusive. Really amazing daily and nightly entertainment, 24 hour room service and every single one of our rooms um, in every single one of our results has an in room mini bar um, that is stocked daily with water, beer, juice and soft drinks as well. So they're just some of the points that make us stand out from some of our competitors. So we're going to start with a short video and it will just run through the brands um, so you can just see them. <laughs> might have recognized some of those brands or even the hotels and the destinations that they're in from that video but it just gives you an overview of the brands and what they're all about so now really informally we're just going to look at some of those top lines so we're going to look at Hyatt Zalara um, Hyatt Ziva and our Hilton brand today before we move on to some specific hotel training so one thing um, that's really important to understand about the brands is that we need to understand what kind of client we could send to these resorts in the first place for example we have a Hyatt Zalara in Mexico Jamaica and the Dominican Republic um, so in all three of our locations you will find this product and so it's understanding what kind of customer would would like to holiday here so the concept is luxury five-star adult only so this is one of the top brands in the whole flyer collection um, and you've got to be 18 or older to stay in any of our adult only properties and we are very strict with that we believe that adult only should mean adult only therefore if you're younger than 18 even by a few days you would not be able to have access into the Zalara results. So who are these good for? These are good for customers that have a bit of a larger budget for Caribbean and they're sophisticated adults that are looking for a holiday where they need to relax and unwind. So these aren't crazy results with loud music and phone parties and things like that going on. There's a very big wellness focus. They're really calm and quiet with sophisticated entertainment um, that happens throughout the day. So you can easily read a book without being interrupted. And the only time you'd be interrupted is by the pool or beachside butler coming to ask you what you'd like to drink. So it's really great for those that just need to escape and really unwind and relax for a week or two. So just looking at Hyatt Zalara in a bit more detail, this is actually Hyatt Zalara Cap Kana in the Dominican Republic, and it's one of our newest Zalaras in the collection. So Cap Kana itself is located just 15 minutes from Punta Cana International Airport, and it's a private and gated estate community. So you can actually only get into Cap Kana um, if you're staying in the hotel, any, any of the hotels as a guest, or if you live here um, in the residential areas of Cap Kana. Um, it's a wonderful property and we actually purchased the land and then we built the property from the ground up, which I absolutely love because normally we purchase a secondhand hotel, um, do renovations and, the, and then, you know, reopen it. But we actually got to build this exactly how we wanted. So you'll first notice that the hotel is built in this U shape and it means that every single room category gets some kind of a view of the ocean, which I think is fantastic. The suite categories at this hotel um, do come with butler service. 
Um, but we find a lot of honeymooners particularly love to book our Hyatt Zalara resorts and they can't always stretch from the Lydian room right up to a butler suite category in terms of their budget. So what you can actually do at our Zalara's is hire a butler just for the day. And I think it's a wonderful addition that clients can add on. Um, you simply do that when you're on property with the concierge desk um, and you can hire a butler for the day. It starts from $150 a day. Um, and if you wanted to do it again on the day you left or halfway through your holiday, you can do that as long as there was availability with the butlers. Uh, but it just means for honeymooners that maybe wanted to experience that for a day or two on their honeymoon, they absolutely can. And then looking at food, food is such a big thing in Azalara Resort. So if you have foodies, they would absolutely not be disappointed at all um, with any of the dining outlets at this property. Um, but one of my personal favourites is our Indian restaurant, just photographed on the bottom left there. Um, it's called Journeys and it is on um, in high at Zalara Capcana. When you walk into the restaurant, there is actually a train departure board that says Mumbai. And for a split second, you totally forget that you're in the Dominican Republic and you step into this kind of train station onto this train um, and you feel that you really could be going to India. It is a real railroad train that we converted into a restaurant. Um, but of course, what you're really doing is sitting on here to have your evening meal. Our head chef um, is from India and he heads up the whole restaurant and the food is so authentic. We do that throughout the results. Um, we always have a chef that is from the native country so that the cuisine and experience um, can be as authentic as possible. But again, just from what we've learned in the beginning, these kind of restaurants are all included as part of our all-inclusive. You don't need to pay any extra um, and you can dine in them as many times as you would like while you stay with us. Um, and then the image on the bottom right is just from one of our leading room categories. So you can just see how big the bathrooms are. You've got the double sinks there, um, double mirror areas, and the rooms are really, really big. And every category is getting that semi view of the ocean if not definitely the pool and the resort area which is also fantastic and then just to point out um actually i'll mention this in the next slide because i don't want to confuse you guys so moving on to high ziva so this is the sister brand to zalara so it's the same concept but it's family friendly and it's for all ages um, we also have a Hyatt Ziva in all three of our destinations, Mexico, Jamaica and the Dominican Republic. And in Jamaica and in the Dominican Republic, Hyatt Ziva is right next door to Zalara. The only destination that is not the case is in Mexico. Now, this is really important because if guests are staying in Zalara, they can automatically come over to Ziva and use all of the facilities. And as long as you are 18 or older in Ziva, there are no charges for anybody to go over to the Zalara side. So the concept of Ziva, again, is that really high end five star luxury, family friendly, all ages. So this is really good for families that really just want to reconnect, spend a lot of time together and make lovely memories. Again, they're very sophisticated resorts. They're quite quiet. There's not too much. There's not commotion going on with loud music and things. So this is good for families that just really want that quality time together all the time on their holiday. So just a couple of KSPs about the Hyatt Ziva brand. So in our Hyatt Zivas, we have these amazing sweet shops that you can see top left. I mean, it looks like something from a movie, um, but they're a really quirky addition that we wanted to add into the hotels um, for the family market. I say family market, but every time I am actually in the sweet shops, it is full of adults and there is not a child in sight. Um, but you walk in, you grab a bag, you fill it up with as many sweet treats as you want. Some of them have been wrapped as well. So if they've made some local Mexican sweets and treats for the day, you can actually take them back home and share those with friends and family that maybe weren't with you on holiday so I do really love that you can also get ice cream there's cakes there's all kinds of sweets and treats you can even see the chocolate fountain hiding in the back left there um, but again from what we've learned in the beginning it's all included um, it's included in the all-inclusive and it's just such a lovely quirk that we have in our Hyatt Zebras. We have amazing kids clubs for ages 4 to 12 and teams will also have their own dedicated zones so that's for ages 13 to 17 and there are many activities that happen throughout the day where all of the family can actually join in together. 
So in the morning, there's a lot of water aerobics and fitness or dancing classes that are going on. And normally mum might have to say to dad, oh, can you have the kids and I'm going to go and do this water aerobics this morning? Well, that doesn't need to happen in our divas. Um, mum and dad can do it on one side and the, the team from the kids club will actually come out in the water with the children and do it right next to mum and dad um, with the children. So everybody can do all of these activities together as a family. And that's one of my personal favourites about these resorts. And we also have amazing water parks. So we'll always have some of the bigger slides, um, a lazy river, and then we will have a smaller area for the younger children as well in these resorts. And then just another KSP about the kids clubs. Um, in those two destinations that I mentioned, where we have a Hyatt Ziva and a Zalara right next door, so that was Dominican Republic um, and Jamaica, you can actually put the kids into the kids club in Zebra. They're open until 10 p.m. at night. Mum and dad can walk along to Zalara, have a wonderful mum and dad only meal for an hour or two, and then walk back to Zebra and collect the children. So again, I think this is such a wonderful KSP um, for families uh, at our Zebra results. So I'm gonna switch screen now um, because we're gonna talk about the Hilton brand and I'm actually gonna go into detail about one of our hotels. So just bear with me while I try and change screens. Oh, that is not from the beginning. Hang on a second. There we go. I did it. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about Hilton Rose Hall in Jamaica today. But firstly, just like we've learned about Hire, we want to understand the Hilton brand um, and really understand who it is that we would send here. So under the Hilton All-Inclusive brand, um, firstly, I have to point out it is um, Playa, um, Hilton All-Inclusive by Playa Hotels and Resorts. There's a lot of different Hiltons. Um, some are all-inclusive, some are not, and some truly belong to just Hilton. But this brand was created by Playa and we've partnered with Hilton. And, um, to offer these amazing all-inclusive um, properties in the Caribbean. So in um, Mexico and Dominican Republic, we offer five-star Hiltons, some are adult only and some are family friendly for all ages. And in Jamaica, the one that we're going to be talking about today, um, it's a four and a half star property that is family friendly for all ages as well. So these are perfect for couples, friends, families, groups, honeymooners, even weddings, anybody that's really looking for that affordable but premium all-inclusive offering. So a step up from your normal um, all-inclusive inclusion, this would be. Um, the price point for what you get is amazing with these resorts and I love that they have a real home from home feel about them as well and certainly in all of our destinations when you walk into a Hilton you know that you're in that country so as soon as you walk into Hilton Playa del Carmen in Mexico you just feel that Mexican culture straight away and I really love that about these brands. So just to look where we are on the map in Jamaica then, um, so you'd fly into Montego Bay International Airport and then Hilton Rose Hall is literally a 15 minute transfer from the airport. So it's a super short transfer as well. <laughs>
that gave you a lovely snapshot um, of Hilton Road Hall itself. And you can kind of see from that video, it's got something for everybody, um, which I really particularly love. So the location, as I mentioned, is just 15 minutes from the airport and it's actually on a private estate, um, the Grand Rose Hall um, estate. So you might have heard of the, the Great Rose Hall house um, and actually the grounds in which uh, this hotel lives it was an old plantation estate which is still private so that means private beaches and it means that the resort is steeped in history so you saw a lot of old buildings in that video and um, that are still part of the original sugar plantation um, that are still on the grounds of the property if you can see my mouse the building on the right the room categories along the side that face over the golf course golf course you actually get to see um, that wonderful architecture and the old sugar plantation from your rooms which I really like um, about this property. Six different restaurants, lots of entertainment going on, which we're going to look through in a bit more detail, but this really is a one fits all um, for customers. So we have the famous Sugar Mill Water Park. So this is kind of the heart and soul of the resort. Um, so you'll find the entertainment that happens around here throughout the day. Um, this is where the entertainment team will be. This is where the music will be and the games and the action. And then over to the left of the resort, we do have a quiet pool as well, um, where I guess wanted to relax and swim um, and enjoy the peaceful Caribbean breeze. That's where they would find that. But the Lazy River and Pool is the heart and soul. Um, you can see that the Lazy River goes around here. And then we've got these four water slides that all come out here. And the beauty of this is, it's so funny, you come off of this slide and it drifts you straight to the swim up bar so you can get a run punch and then just come back round and do it all again. That's what I did last time I was there anyway. Um, but really good for all ages and right next door to this water park are a lot of our eateries, um, in particular the famous jerk hut um, that is very, very popular for lunchtime. We also have a fitness centre, um, so if anybody is into their training and working out while they're on holiday, we do have that and it is open 24 hours a day. Non-motorised water sports are included as part of the all-inclusive in every single Playa Hotel, not just Hilton. And I really, really advise you to get your clients to book some of these water sports, get out on the water, particularly at Hilton Rose Hall. When you're out on a hobby cat and you just look back at the coastline and the hotel, it is just so, so gorgeous. And we also have an oceanfront spa. Um, so anybody that's looking to have any spa treatments, they can do that right on top of the ocean, which makes it even more relaxing. Um, any of the spa treatments just get booked when guests arrive to the property. Um, and if somebody wanted to do the actual circuit or and not have a massage, they can use all of the hydrotherapy pools and everything like that from just $45 a person. So room categories, um, there are many different categories to choose from, but I just wanted to point out that the only room categories that will come with a bathtub are the two suites that we have. So it's standard in these rooms that is um, a bathroom with a shower. And some of these room categories will actually take five people, which is quite unusual for the Caribbean. So two double beds and a sofa bed. If you are a family of two adults and three children under the age of 12, we will make it work. Um, and that just means that it's really affordable for a family of that size to then do Caribbean. They would not need to have two rooms in that, in that scenario. So we'll just look at some of our other room categories. The view changes, of course, as you get to the ocean views, you get to the front of the, the buildings for the categories. And you can request, obviously, the two, sorry, you can actually book in the system now exactly the Oceanfront Two Queen or the Oceanfront King so that it's guaranteed at the time of booking as well. And then just to look at some of our suites. So as I mentioned, these are the only ones that will come with that bathtub and they are also the only ones that will come with a butler. So six restaurants and six bars, many different restaurants to choose from. And this hotel just had a major um, renovation that happened last year. So all of we added a new restaurant, we refreshed all of the old ones, the lobby and all of the bedrooms and surrounding areas outside have been completely updated. So it looks fantastic. And um, I was so, so happy when I saw the renovations. I think anyone that's been before um, and hasn't been in the last few years, you would have maybe noticed as well that it needed some work done. And we're so, so happy that that's now been finished. So Fresh is our buffet restaurant. We have Moonstone, which is a pizzeria and Asian restaurant. We have Mangoes, which is just really casual for a quick lunch or quick bite to eat. We have the Rum Factory. So this is our new restaurant that we built in the property. Um, and it's now um, like a barbecue Caribbean cuisine. So you can find a lot of Caribbean dishes. You can sit inside these rum barrels and have an evening meal. So it's quite quirky um, to sit and do that. And you can pair each course with a local rum. Why not? You get to taste all of the rums while you have your evening meal. Just take it easy because the measures are very large compared to ours here in the UK. Um, but I definitely recommend that experience for customers at the Rum Factory.
We have a seaside grill, again, for quick bites for lunch, and it's open for a more a la carte style dinner. And Three Palms, which is located just off site. So this is wonderful. This hotel actually lives within the grounds um, of the Rose Hall Great House. Um, so the building is still as it was back then, and it's just got such a cultural um, and historical feeling about it. So it's very good for kind of an intimate dinner or a special occasion. Um, you actually get picked up in a mini minibus and you go under the road, under a tunnel, and you come out the other side and get to this restaurant. So it's, it's quite a cool experience. Now, I said in the beginning that every single one of our hotels, um, everything is included. You don't pay any surcharges. However, we don't actually own this restaurant here at Hilton Rose Hall. So we've partnered with them and there is just a small charge of $15 a person, but it is totally worth that um, for the kind of fine dining that you will experience. And then lastly, our famous jerk cut. So this is so busy of a lunchtime. It's such amazing, authentic food. And there are vegetarian options here as well um, to cater for vegetarians. So I will skip past the bars because I know I'm, I'm running out of time, but just wanted to show you our new coffee shop. It had a major transformation. It's this wonderful panoramic coffee shop now um, that has everything from coffees, ice creams, juices, smoothies, pastries, sandwiches, you name it. Um, so if you wanted to get anything like that during the day, you can do that up until 9.30 at night. Very big for weddings, over 10 different wedding locations. I will send this information in the follow up. And as I whiz right through to my last slide, you can just see some of the pretty locations where you can have weddings, um, which lands me onto our rewards program. So in the UK, that's plyrewards.com. If you're listening and Europe, if you're listening in from the US and Canada, your equivalent is Agent Cash Plus. Um, it's your one stop shop for everything plier. So once you're a member, you get access to all of our training that we're doing um, fam trip competitions, um, the media gallery, videos, literally everything you would need to sell plier. But most importantly, we will pay you for and reward you for any of your bookings in cash and free nights. Um, so if you've made any bookings with us, please log on to your Plier Rewards account. Tell us that you've done that. And as soon as your guest checks in, um, you will earn points and it will basically ask you if you'd like to redeem them for cash or for free night stays. So a lot of people do take the free night stays and come and see what we're all about. So just please bear that in mind. Um, I will put that in the follow up in a bit more detail because I have rushed along for the last minute or two there. Um, and that is all from me. Thank you, Sarah. Back to you. Thank you, Jade. That was very quick. I, uh, it was. That was a bit that. quick. <laughs> I was looking at my watch thinking, oh, I'm running out of time. I could talk forever about these hotels. So, yeah, um, I will make sure I put a bit more detail in the follow up. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much, Jade. So we're now going to leave the Caribbean. We're heading over to the sunny Maldives. Davindra, it's all yours. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you very much. So let me just share my screen real quick. And I hope everyone can see. Okay, perfect. So good day to everyone again. So to kick things off, I will be taking you through the surprise opening of 2023 in the Maldives, which is Ifro Island Resort. So before we start, I'll just take you through a very quick video of the property just to give you an idea of what we are all about. So to give everyone a very quick idea of Ipuru, we are recently opened five-star resort in the Ra Atoll, where we have a total of 147 rooms, which are all situated on the beach. So we are all about awesome sunsets. It's because every room, every area of the entire property, you will be able to capture the sunset, which actually makes it one of our unique selling points as well, because wherever you stay, you will see the sunset. So all the 147 rooms that we have, 
All of them have the perfect sunset view in the entire island. And the Maldives experience is for everyone. A lot of people used to think that the Maldives used to be a very couple's honeymoon destination, but that is not the case. We have seen the trends of the travelers in Maldives changing throughout the years, especially after the pandemic. And we have every single kind of experience that any individual would like to experience when they come here. So say whether it's for the single traveler, couples, families, a group of friends, you name it, everything that they would need, they will find and many more in Ifru. So this, when the sky, sky turns pink, we drink. So this is a very slow, this is a slogan that we always live by because it is part of the four values that make Ifru what it is, which is social, fun, lifestyle, and for great value. So the reason why we say the sky turns pink, we drink is because we have more than 20 different signature cocktails apart from the 50 plus cocktails and beverages that we offer to all our guests who book on the premium all-inclusive meal plan. And seven of these cocktails are seven signature cocktails, which are named after the seven deadly sins. So you know that you're in for a very good time when you have one of the drinks named after the sins. Just another quick video for you guys here. Get on. Perfect. So this is a very aerial view of what the entire island looks like. And one another key USP which we have at the property is that the, the resort has its very own private airport, which actually saves a, quite a bit of time for a guest when they arrive by the domestic flight, as it is only a 27 mi uh, uh, minute uh, uh, domestic transfer from Mali to the resort. And from the resort, it's just a mere 27 seconds for them to arrive from the arrival lounge to the resort. So the pathway that would be from here, the guests would always come all the way here to section three, and they will be able to enjoy the paradise that they've always uh, dreamed of experiencing when booking the Maldives. So we have the entire island set up for the sunset views. We have the social house, which is at one of our restaurants in the middle where everyone gets social and everyone gets fun. And if you see towards the middle right, you will see a heart that is there. So everyone would be wondering, what is the heart? So the heart is actually our secret spot. If you want to find out the secret, please stay tuned because that is one of the plus points of this presentation. So we use uh, Mantaya as a, a transport provider. So they provide both the domestic transfers. And if the guests want to experience the seaplane transfer, which is 45 minutes, as opposed to the domestic transfer of 27 minutes, they can see the crystal clear blue waters, the beautiful atolls, islands from a bird's eye view, and just take the pictures that everyone wants to see in the Maldives. The, this would be the entrance from the arrival lounge. So. One key thing that we do focus on is the fact that we always want to make sure our guests are feeling very much at home. So we do not use the standard terminology that you would use in the in most properties where you would call the reception or the front office. The front office or uh, reception at Ifuru is known as the friendship center because this is where everyone comes, everyone gets connected and everyone knows that they are here to have a jolly good time. And to give an idea of how the room setup is, so we have a total of five different categories which are spread out in our 147 room inventory, which is the starting room category, which is the Sunset Sky Suite, followed by the Sunset Beach Suite, thereafter coming to the Sunset Beach Villa, Sunset Beach Villa with private pool, and the two-bedroom pool villa with uh, two-bedroom pool villa. And to kick things off, I will show you off with the very first category which we have, which is the Sunset Two-Bedroom with private pool. So this room category is pretty much like a residence and it is the highest room category available in the property where you would have two separate bedrooms where we can configure both the rooms to be either on king size beds or on twin beds. And both rooms come with its own, uh, own bathroom and an outdoor shower as well. And the big lavish pool, which is located right on front of the deck before you take the uh, walk to experience the, uh, the white crystal sands that Maldives always promises everyone. So just a few images of what the room setup looks like. Over here, as you can see, this is the view from one of the bedrooms that we see here. As you can see, you get the pool right near you and then you get the crystal clear blue waters right in front of you as well. So it's a hop, skip and a jump. 
and a view of the exterior of the room. And now we come to the basic room categories of the property, which is the entry level and the second level, which is called the Sunset Sky Suites and the Sunset Beach Suites. So these two room categories are located in a block or as we like to call it a nest, which I will explain to you in a short while. So the Sunset Sky Suites is two separate units where we have the uh, upper floor where they get the nice uh, view from the uh, from above and you get the Sunset Beach Suites which are located right underneath where they have the nice garden and sandy view that Maldives always promises. So just a few more images of what the room categories look like from their interiors. So this is what you see is the Sunset Sky Suite. As you can see, you can see the lush clear gardens and the nice crystal white sands. And this is the Sunset Beach Suite. So as you can see, very nice, very cozy. And I present to you proudly a nest. So this nest is actually very unique because this can be converted into three different more room categories. Reason being because of the 20 interconnecting units that we have available at the property. So whether it's a family traveling, we can accommodate them in the interconnecting unit where there would be one king size bed for the parents and two separate twin beds for the children who are traveling. This we have from the 10, uh, 10 units from the Sky Suite and 10 units from the Beach Suite as well, totally 20 units. And at the same time, if there is a group of friends who are traveling, eight packs, 10 packs, we can block off an entire nest just so that everyone is together. And in these blocks of nests, there are five different nests in each retreat, like as we like to call it. And in this retreat, so that everyone is together, they can nicely enjoy themselves in the sunken lounge that we have in the middle of every single retreat. So it's perfect for a group of friends, mice travel, business trips, you name it. The resort has uh, accommodated it in a way where we can cater to any and all requirement. Next, we come to the third category of the uh, property, which is the Sunset Beach Villas. So we have a total of 35 units of these uh, units and this is ideal for couples and honeymooners because it's a separate unit that is just cordoned off for them. So from the room setup, the addition coming in from the beach suite is the outdoor bathroom that everyone looks for when they come to in the Maldives. And a few images of what the uh, room category looks like. So as you can see, very private, very cozy, very romantic, leading right into the crystal clear blue waters of the Maldives. And to the fourth room category of the property, the Sunset Beach Villa with private pool. So this is one of our most demanded room categories because of the privacy as well as the private pool. And you can see from the setup over here, the, it has enough and more lush greenery where you won't be able to see into the other side of the room and you can just enjoy Maldives like how you, any way that you would see fit. Just a few more pictures of the room, what it looks like. As you can see, it's a very unique setup that we have here, which pretty much covers everything from garden to sand to water to ocean to luxury, you name it, Ifuru has it. Next, we come to the culinary experiences that we have available at the property. So Ifuru is a 24-hour premium all-inclusive property, or as we like to call it, the exclusively yours meal plan. Apart from that, we also have special spoil-yourself options where the guests can even have the opportunity to spoil them their vacation even more with unique experiences and treatments from our spa, destination dining, in villa dining, diving, the motorized water sports, the skydiving is a, one of our best unique selling points, but I have a few slides to give a bit more description on that. So please be patient, I will get to that. And coming to the dining outlets that we have. So the social house is our, our main uh, restaurant where we serve both breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Palm Grill is one of our uh, specialty restaurants or signature restaurants where we it is actually a uh, sustainability restaurant because all the items that we put on the menu is organically sourced from our end. So it's not purchased from outside. It is completely done through our side. Haba Haba Bar is our main bar where you can catch all the entertainment and the perfect bar for the sunsets. One of the perfect bars. 
Poolside Pizza is another area which is located near our main pool where in case the guest wants to just entice themselves with a little snack rather than going too heavy on lunch. Again, possible where we serve three different varieties of daily wooden pizza that the guests can indulge themselves in. The Waterfront is another one of our signature restaurants where the ground floor is um, catering to a Mediterranean and Asian cuisine. The Sunset Sushi Bar, located right on top, which is also a spoil yourself uh, 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 item that we have at the restaurant, is where our special teppanyaki restaurant that the guests are able to enjoy. So Ifuru Eats, everyone here knows what Uber Eats is. So we have added this to our portfolio with a little twist. Everyone, myself included, always likes to indulge in a midnight snack. But usually from 10.30 onwards, most of the restaurant outlets are closed. But Ifuru Eats covers you for any time during the day in the night. All, all that is required, just go to the room, press the magic button that is available on your phone, and our Ifuru Eats cart will arrive with a variety of snacks and a variety of options that the guests can choose from at any day between 10.30 in the night to 7 a.m. in the morning. So that area is completely covered for all the midnight snack lovers. Then we come to the beach club, which is located right near our reception, the second best bar in the entire resort for magical sunsets, where we also serve a very nice light snack for all the ones who don't want to have a very heavy lunch, but still want to get their drink on and enjoy the Maldives. So it's a few pictures of our outlets here. So one key unique area that we do focus on the social house is from the name itself. Upon their arrival, Maldives has a variety of different nationalities that travel in and we would love to always learn more of them. So the social house gives the guests the option at the time of their arrival, they would ask if they would want to be social or if they would want to be by themselves. If they feel social, they can always be uh, accommodated on the uh, uh, seating near the wall, or if they're feeling uh, by themselves, they can always stay in one of the individual tables as well. So just give you a few uh, mouth-watering images of the kind of uh, food and cuisine that we serve here. And the one of the, my, fav my personal favorite parts of the property is the Haba Haba Bar. Everyone likes to get their drink on in the Maldives. They want to have a nice drink, enjoy the sunset, get their tan. And Haba Haba is the perfect location for this. And along with the Haba Haba comes our gong. So the gong is actually another signature cocktail that we have, which we always rotate around on a daily basis, which is a pure vodka-based cocktail, where once ordered and given to the guest, the uh, resort staff smash the gong so that everyone knows the guests have ordered the gong cocktail and it is our way of saying cheers and enjoying one of our signatures. Poolside pizza by the meter, pretty much uh, the pizza bar that we have located right near the main pool in case the guests want to indulge in a very light snack. The Palm Grill restaurant, which is our, one of the signature restaurants that we have. Then we have our waterfront, which is located over the water. You get the Asian and Mediterranean cuisine on the ground floor, followed by the teppanyaki and sushi restaurant on the upper floor. Just to give you guys an idea of how the setup looks like. And again, another one of the very mouth-watering dishes that we provide to the guests. Then we come to the beach club, which is the second best spot in the island for uh, sunsets. Again, perfect to get your drink on, to get your tan, and to enjoy the Maldives like anyone would love to. And I proudly present you our lovely Ifuru Eats cart, which is responsible for all your midnight cravings that you will have during your stay here. Next, we come to the spa, which is our Zanadu spa, which is our own in-house spa, which translates to paradise. So we have a total of six, uh, eight treatment rooms, six of which are single treatment rooms and two of which are double, uh, are couple treatment rooms. And the six palms of our wellness that we like to cater to our guests is relaxation, recovery, revitalization, restfulness, replacement, and rejuvenation. So we offer a variety of Ayurvedic, Thai, Balinese uh, uh, treatments, and we also have our very own sauna and steam room as well for the guests to enjoy after their treatment along with a nice dip in the pool afterwards. We also have a manicure and pedicure station available at the property in case anyone wants to glam up a little bit during their vacation with us. 
And being a 24 hour all inclusive property, we have to make sure the guests are able to keep up to their fitness. So we have the 24 hour staff fitness center. And we also have a multi-purpose uh, futsal and basketball court, as well as our very own tennis court. Coming to the kids club, as much as the parents love to travel with the children, they also need to get a bit of time to themselves, to spoil themselves, as we like to say. So the uh, kids club has a variety of different, different options, where, whether it's for a nursery, uh, arts room, a games room, a building room, you name it, we have it and enough and more for the uh, children to be occupied during their stay with us. And we also have a daily schedule to make sure the kids are also active and they're enjoying their stay in the Maldives. And now to our secret spot, which is the location where we put our renewal of vow ceremonies. People always do, uh, speak, I mean, love is always a, a great thing that people come to celebrate in the Maldives. And from Ifuru, we do the decorated setup in a very isolated area so that the uh, couples can always renew the love that they have for each other. And every couple that has had their renewal of vow ceremonies has their name tag uh, attached to the trees over there so that they can come and remember this moment once again. Speaking about the adventures that we have below, we have a, an amazing house reef which can be accessed from the comfort of anywhere in the resort enough and more marine life and now the skydiving so ifuru is the only resort in the maldives that has skydiving as an experience and which actually helps us to keep the pri private airport as a very unique selling point of ours we have partnered up with a lot of people to give them the best uh tandem jump location in the maldives and these are uh, comments that a few of the guests have given after their uh, jump in the maldives so this is a very seasonal uh, excursion which we offer from November to March, but still a lifetime to remember because no other place in the Maldives can offer this uh, experience to our guests. So just to give you guys a few more pictures of what it looks like, these are all from the guests who experience their stay. So we have packages starting from uh, small heights for beginners, high heights for, uh, for professionals, and along with the uh, pictures and the videos that they would always want to have to remember the moment. And to keep it fun for our guests, we do different, different challenges, such as the ice bath and bubbles challenge, which is the GM's choice of challenge, which we offer every week. So if the guests are able to stay for five minutes in the ice bucket, they would get a random prize where it would automatically spoil themselves. And to wrap things up, a few of our key unique selling points is always going to be the private airport, the 24-hour premium all-inclusive package we offer, the 147 uh, rooms, which are all sunset view, six different dining options, four bars, and many, many more. And just a few comments of what the previous guests who have stayed with us have also shared. A quick glimpse of the entire property once again, and a, a breakdown of what we offer in our premium all-inclusive meal plan. And with that, to wrap things up, this is all about what Ifuru is. And that concludes my presentation of Ifuru Island Maldives. Thank you very much, Sarah. Over to you. Thank you, Dabindra. I think everybody's loving the uh, Ifuru Eats. Uh, we always get a lot of reaction for that one. It's, um, it's such a great concept. So fantastic. Um, okay, we do have a few questions that have come in. Um, so Jade, this one's for you. Um, will clients receive their reward points when booking Marriott Hilton, et cetera, as well as the player customer reward? So the player reward is only applicable to the agent. The customer can earn points if they book through the Hilton Honours app, for example, but player rewards would only be applicable to the agent to reward themselves. So it's not okay. the same thing. So if they book through, say, a tour operator, for example, like Gold Medal, they wouldn't yeah. be able to receive the points. So, no, the agent can. So the age, I think no, we're talking about... Client. Yeah, will the clients yeah. receive their rewards point when booking Marriott Hilton, et cetera? So I believe that they they only... No, they, they can get it, but if they want to book it in that way, they have to do it through the retrospective programme. So if they wanted to book Hilton Rose Hall and use their points, they would have to book it through the Hilton Honours Programme. Okay, so that's just to use the points. But if they're booked a holiday, a package they holiday, the points. they yeah, can still they get can the points. Get Super. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, Hyatt Ziva, does it have sofa beds available for children in the room with two adults? 
Yeah, so in all of our Hyatt Zebras, the leading category is the Junior Suite Double or King. Um, and in the Junior Suite Double room, it comes with two double beds and a sofa bed. So the maximum occupancy in the leading room at all of our Zebra is, is five. Um, and the maximum adult occupancy is actually four. So they're very good room, room types for bigger families with the sofa bed, yes. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, Johanna was getting excited about the Lazy River. So that's good. <laughs> Um, is there a way we can receive the PowerPoint presentation? This is from Isabel. Um, are you able to send any any information like that out? Yeah, I can send the one where we've got the brands and the concept and kind of who that would be good for and take out all of the other bits. I can definitely put that in the in the follow up. No problem. OK, super. Um, Elsa's asking, can we use the photographs photographs for websites? Yeah, so when you sign up to our Plyer Media Valet, which you'll see within Plyer Rewards when you're a member, um, it basically gives you that permission to use those images for your own content and things like that, yes. Super, thank you very much. Um, Elsa was asking, is this all inclusive? I think, Elsa, can you clarify which hotel? Because I'm not sure, um, but all of them are all inclusive. Um Davindra's is all inclusive and Jade, all of yours that you've shown today are all inclusive. Yeah. So yeah, you're all, all inclusive. Um, Elsa has also asked weddings, are they symbolic only? Uh, Davindra, I think this is for you because this is at the time that you were speaking. Correct. So the weddings actually, I mean, celebration of love is always a symbolic gesture. But what we have at Ifuru is actually the renewal of vows, which isn't exactly a legal marriage, but it's just a chance for, I mean, people always change their vows around over time in the marriage. So this is just a chance to renew the vows and to uh, express their love for each other that they have had over the years. Super. And there's a lot of people that are doing that at the moment. So um, it's not legal, right. um, but they can go and do the renewal of vows or they can get married quickly in the country and fly off on honeymoon and do the full wedding ultimately but without the legals correct um <clears throat> isabel also wants the ifuru presentation so if there's anything that you can send over um when you do your follow-up um davindra um yeah because it's it's um yeah great place to get married maldives so this is for davindra is there a minimum age for children so not at our property, any uh, infants, children, all are welcome. So we're not an adults only island. We're just a premium 24 hour all inclusive property that caters to any and all uh, uh, guests who want to join. So that's not an issue. Super. Thank you very much. Um, this question's for both of you. Um, do either of you have any accessible rooms? So Davindra, I'll ask you first, are you suitable for mobility issues? Yes, it is possible. So for the beach suites and the beach villas, we can uh, provide the uh, mobility access. That's not a problem at all, even Super. for the two bedrooms. Brilliant. Thank you. Jade? Yeah, it's the same for us. So we have accessible rooms that have all been adapted um, for guests that need those. So but to book those, though, um, you would need to book the room as normal and then actually email the hotel to actually request the adaptive room um i believe at hilton rose hall the one i specifically spoke about we have 10 of them there so in all of our results they're all adapted friendly um but hilton rose hall particularly there's lifts ramps and everything is accessible yes super thank you very much um travel agent rates for player in jamaica um do you do them jade we do. We haven't quite figured out how to put that into a system yet for agents to request easily, but we do offer them and agents just need to simply email me and request um, the date and the hotel that they would like to stay at and we'll reach out for the agent rate for you. Super, thank you. Uh, Davindra, the kids free in the Maldives, up to which age? So the child policy usually varies from property to property, but at Ipuru, we consider 0 to 1.99 years as an infant, where they would be free of charge. However, the green tax would apply as this is a Maldivian uh, law requirement. So only the green tax of $6 per child per night would be applicable. Children between the age of 2 to 11.99 years would be considered as a child, and they would, be, uh, they would have to pay the relevant supplementary rate for that plus the uh, green tax. Anyone above the age of 12 would be considered as an adult. Okay, super. Thank you. That's clarified that. 
Uh, yes, Jazz, you will get both of the contact details, so no problem at all with that. Um, one last clarification for the Maldives. Do they offer symbolic renewal wedding packages? Yes, we've just covered that, Elsa. Um, it's just a symbolic renewal of vow wedding package that is offered in the Maldives. So no legals, just the amazing scenery, the beautiful sunsets, toes in sand concept. Um, that is and most importantly, the romance. And the romance and the love. <laughs> and the premium all inclusive. <laughs> That's a plus point. <laughs> Thank you. Right. That's the end of the question. So this is the part now that I love, which is where we test all of you guys to see if you've been listening. So if everybody can go to chat, make sure that your drop down says everyone. Um, as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets one prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger to answer the question, you get 10 entries. And then tomorrow I'll put you all in a spin to win and let you know who the winners are. So, um, Jade, you went first, so you can go first with a question also. So fire away. OK, so I would like to know um, in which of our destinations is there a Hyatt Ziva right next door to a Hyatt Zalara that guests can use both of? Whoa, that's so fast. <laughs> I did see it somewhere, so I'm just scrolling back up. So the so, first one we've got is Jamaica. I'm presuming no. That's so it is correct. two destinations, and that is um, Dominican Republic and Jamaica is where we have a Zalara right next door to Aziva. And I believe the first person to say that was Shanice. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Ten entries, Shanice. Well done. And Devindra. So You're my good. question is a very simple, time-sensitive question. Uh, so I mentioned that it takes 27 minutes by domestic to arrive at the air, from Male Airport to Ifru Airport. But how many seconds does it take from the Ifru Airport to the Ifru reception? You see, this is, this is I, I don't know if I entirely got this one. Um, so <laughs> let me go back up to the top. So Jennifer said 27 seconds. That is correct. Perfect. So Jennifer, you have your 10 entries in here. So massive thank you. So I think everybody's absolutely adored your presentations today. So thank you to Jade and Devindra for sharing the love of their islands and their, their hotels with us. Um, if you have any further questions, everybody will be copied in onto an email. So you can reach out to them directly. And remember, these hotels are trade friendly. They want to work with you. Um, so please, if you've got options, send them to the options that are very trade friendly because your clients will be very well looked after as well. So a big thank you. Have a great weekend. And thank you again, Jade and Devindra, for your amazing presentations. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day ahead. Bye. Bye. Bye.